Does this really implicate the sort of, you know, socialism of, say, a, you know, a Norwegian or a Bernie Sanders or an Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez who wants to have more welfare and maybe, you know, some more publicly owned utilities? I mean, is that, you know, I mean, these are really two different beasts, aren't they? So they're different. And let me, let me explain a bit how I see this. Yeah. Venezuela is a socialist country. Mm -hmm. Venezuela nationalized businesses. Venezuela put massive, you know, some more publicly owned utilities. I mean, is that, yeah, I mean, these are really two different beasts, aren't they? So they're different. And let me, let me explain a bit how I see this. Yeah. Venezuela is a socialist country. Mm -hmm. Venezuela nationalized businesses. Venezuela put massive price controls in every, so the private businesses that are left are incredibly state intervened. Yeah. Um, And so we live in a continuum between totally free markets and, you know, total state control. Venezuela is on that total state control side near North Korea and Cuba. Now, whether, you know, large welfare states means they're socialist. I don't think that's socialism. I think that that's a large welfare state. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with a large welfare state, but I don't think that's going to destroy the country. Yeah. uh, If it's Mm well-funded. Now, whether it's the drug trafficking, you say, well, you know, these are people with bad intentions, criminal regimes. Iran has bad intentions. They're terrorists. It's a terrorist (laughs) regime. Colombia had a narco government for many years. That's true. In Mex- yeah. If Mex- Mexico is a country where the drug dealers kill the politicians all the time. That is true. But they there still... There are many narco states in the planet, yeah. yet, because they don't have price controls, because they didn't yeah. nationalize the industries, the people get by. Yeah. I, I just... That's the thing that is so strange, and I appreciate you bringing up those examples, because they really drive home, you know, like, you know, just how, like... Even among its peers, it is really, you know, in terms of countries who have some of these problems, it is just really, why are they, why have they maintained these price controls now? I mean, isn't it like Cuba, for example, uh, Castro, uh, Raul Castro, I know this had been, uh, you know, in the cards for a while. So it's not exactly uh, a big shift just yet, but he did formally step down today. I think just a few hours ago, in fact. Um, Yeah. I mean, you know, they're liberalizing now. So why is, you know, I mean, it remains to be seen, but there's at least some talk of it. They made some steps for it, right? Venezuela doesn't seem to have done anything like that. Um, they, they, so in 2019, they liberalized some of the price controls, actually. Mm-hmm. And, and the country has dollarized now. So mm. a lot of the people have been shielded from hyperinflation because they're just using the U.S. dollar or Colombian peso. Yeah. But... You know, the, once they liberalized, they, they went back to the price control.